Well, engineering and management consultancy firm Mosh McDonald has been appointed to study the safety and feasibility of advanced nuclear technologies in Singapore. They will examine small modular reactors, focusing on their safety features, technological maturity and commercial readiness. The Energy Market Authority launched a tender to conduct such a study in December last year. Mott McDonald, which has over 60 years of experience in the nuclear energy industry, was chosen out of eight applicants. EMA says the company has been advising technology developers and government agencies on advanced nuclear energy tech and safety. We'll focus mainly on the safety performance and technical features of the different small modular reactor designs. So, for example, we compare the different safety features across different designs that we put through our study. And then hopefully through the process, that will help us deepen our understanding of how different reactors work. What are, for example, the pros and cons of different technology classes. And then that will give us a better evaluation of what technologies could work for Singapore. EMA says the two-year-long study will examine nuclear adoption overseas and determine which design is safe enough for a small, densely populated country like Singapore. With nuclear seen as a possible path to decarbonisation, Caitlin Ng looks at the key considerations. This is the Kudankulam nuclear power plant, the largest power generation complex in India with a current capacity of 2,000 megawatts. A small modular reactor or SMR is a fraction of that, with an electrical power output of up to 300 megawatts. Its compact design means faster, cheaper assembly, but the tech may not be ready. There will also be the issue about, for example, spent fuel management, radioactive waste management, and this is also a major public concern. So Singapore has not made a decision because there are so many uh, issues that need to be addressed and carefully studied. Like a traditional reactor, SMRs generate energy through nuclear fission. That's the process of splitting a nucleus of an atom. At its core sits nuclear fuel like uranium. It's a powerful reaction, but it also comes with risks. That's why SMRs are designed with inherent safety features, like passive cooling systems to prevent meltdowns and automatic shutdowns if something goes wrong. But securing public confidence remains a key hurdle. Although we know that the public perception on nuclear energy is improving, it is still not as good as we want it to be. So the study, together with other national efforts, needs to help build public confidence and also public trust in nuclear energy. While Singapore has not made the call on nuclear energy yet, it's already laying the groundwork. With a $66 million boost for nuclear safety research and plans to grow its team of experts to 100 by 2030.